Hi, my name is Mark Pataglia and I am the Associate Creative Director here at Demian Cooper and today we are going to do a good old-fashioned new product unboxing and it's going to be for the iPhone 4. Um, as many of you know, if you've read the news this morning, today is kind of a bad day for Apple. Uh, Consumer Reports is actually not recommending the iPhone 4, which is kind of uh, unusual for them because they've recommended every iPhone up until now. Uh, they're not doing this, they're not recommending the iPhone because of the uh, antenna issues that it's been having. I don't know if every one of you is aware, uh, they have created a new kind of case for the iPhone, which actually makes it a little bit slimmer than it has been before, and the antenna actually wraps around the outside of the phone. And if you hold it in a certain way, if your body, if your fingers come in contact with, there's a little black line on the side, uh, that's actually a, a part of the antenna you'll actually degrade the signal. And Consumer Reports is not recommending the iPhone because of that. Uh, but as Steve Jobs has said, using one of the many available cases on the market, you can actually overcome this problem, and it's just like any other phone. I happen to use a, uh, a Senna wallet case. It's actually a leather wallet. And um, I'm, getting, I'm going to be getting a new one for this new phone. This one is for my iPhone 3G. Uh, it will cover the antenna, uh, and so I'll be able to hold it any way I want. Um, and I don't have to listen to Steve Jobs tell me how to hold my iPhone. Alright, so this is the iPhone 4. It came in the mail yesterday, and uh, we're going to be doing an unboxing here. I've actually uh, kind of opened it up already a little bit yesterday, um, but not the iPhone itself. It comes in a simple box. As you can see, uh, the packaging is very similar to uh, the iPhone 3G. It's a little bit smaller, um, but uh, the same kind of uh, same kind of packaging uh, markings on the sides. Um, this packaging is actually a little bit less expensive because on the 3G they were using a uh, embossed. This iPhone is actually embossed, and this button is debossed. Uh, there is metallic printing on the outside bezel. On here there is no metallic printing on the cover, but there is over here. So this is actually a little bit uh, slimmed down packaging. So let's open this guy up. We've got the foam laying on top. And it is quite beautiful. I heard somebody describe it as um, some of the more high-end high product design that Braun had done in the 70s. And I think I kind of agree. I think that's a really great explanation for it. It's got uh, protective plastic on the front and the back. And it looks like it needs a charge maybe. It's not going to start up. Let's see if it will. Oh, well, there it goes. It's going to start up. Um, inside here, we've got the product manual with uh, fingertips, the same kind of thing that was on the other one. There's your uh, fanboy Apple sticker you could put on your car or whatever you want. Um, this is the same kind of uh, plug uh, power charger as before, and we've got headphones in here. And it wants to connect to iTunes. So let's just compare this phone really quick. To, I'm sure if you've been looking at this a lot online, you've probably seen a good comparison of these two phones. The uh, iPhone 4 is actually a little bit thinner, and uh, it is uh, considerably heftier. Um, it, it feels, I think it feels more solid. It's got a flat front on the back. In this back, uh, it just feels it feels a little bit more solid than this does because this has a plastic back on it. Um, it just doesn't feel as weighty and hefty. And uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. Um, again, follow the SparkReport.com, and uh, you'll get more tech tips and news like this, as well as other uh, advertising and marketing. Uh, several times a week. Thanks a lot.